Kia ora. I'm Christina Höppler, Project Lead and Product Manager of the portfolio platform Mahara. On behalf of the Mahara team at Catalyst IT in Te Whangarui at Tara Wellington, Aotearoa, New Zealand, I'd like to introduce you to Mahara 2404, released on the 26th of April 2024. In this release, we included enhancements to the portfolio creation and collaboration, as well as a number of technical updates. Many of the items that you see on our short-term roadmap have been completed. Some other items will be worked on over the next few months to stay on track with our plans. We would like to thank everybody who has contributed to this release, including the organizations listed here that have funded specific new and changed features in Mahara. A big shout out also to all of our subscribers who through their financial contributions make it possible that we can continue working on Mahara and provide maintenance releases as well as new feature releases such as this one. Let's take a look at the new features then. First up is a huge enhancement to smart evidence. It is now possible to create frameworks that allow for multiple assessors. When you share a smart evidence collection, you select which person shall receive a particular assessor role that is defined in the framework. When that person logs in, they can provide their assessment and feedback, and other assessors can provide theirs, making it possible to have multiple assessments, including also student self-assessment, displayed next to each other. Assessors also have an additional assessment status available, that of merit. Continuing professional development. The next functionality I would like to highlight is for tracking continuing professional development activities. This used to be a plugin created by Jeff Rowland many years ago based on the plans functionality in Mahara. We are now bringing this plugin into Mahara Core to maintain it more easily. We've also made a number of comprehensive changes enhancing the usability of the plugin. You can create a CPD activity by giving it a title, location, start date, and a short description. I also recommend giving it one or more tags because that will then make it possible to restrict the display of activities in your portfolios, tailoring them to the context. Back on the overview page, you see your list of activities and the overall hours spent on them. You are now ready to add them to a portfolio page and can select your tags or also restrict the activities based on the start date. You can also add or edit activities straight from the portfolio page, both in edit mode and in details mode, making it effortless to add new activities. Access recently used content types quickly. Once you've added some content types to pages, you see your recently used ones at the top, giving you quick access to the ones that you are most likely to use again. Retrieve deleted text. It can happen that you deleted some text in a text block that you may wish to retrieve again. You can now do so by clicking the backup button. That gives you access to the content that was in the text block before you saved it last. You can overwrite your existing content if you want to replace it with the old one or copy certain bits. Copying of blocks. Server administrators can allow the copying of blocks for a site by making a change in the config PHP file. By doing so, the copy icon becomes visible on all blocks that can have multiple instances on a page and allow you to make copies quickly. This may be useful during the creation of templates. Easier bug reporting. It might happen that your learners encounter an issue in Mahara with a generic error message so as not to divulge too much information for security reasons. They now have the possibility to report such issues 
via a notification to an administrator if at least one site administrator receives issue reports. Dark mode. We implemented dark mode in Mahara, allowing themes to be displayed with a dark background and light font automatically if their browser or device is set to dark mode. Currently, this functionality is only enabled for the raw and default themes to test it out and to gain more experience with it as there are a lot of style sheet changes involved. If your theme builds on top of one of them, you can experiment with dark mode yourself. Exploring with an AI reflection bot. Generative AI is a hot topic also in portfolio practice, and we are watching the space carefully and are involved in conversations with organizations who are exploring the possibilities. As a first start, it is now possible to embed Riff, the reflection bot, into a Mahara page to give portfolio authors easy access to it. At this stage, no data is transferred from Riff to Mahara or stored in Mahara itself. It is a display only and all data is managed by Riff. By adding it to a portfolio page though, your learners have quick access to it for their ongoing reflection. To find out more about Riff, visit its website. There are many more new features in Mahara 2404 and also issues fixed. So make sure to check out the issue tracker that has them all listed. New features are also documented in the Mahara manual for 2404 at manual.mahara.org. We look forward to hearing from you on how you can make use of the new features and how they can support your portfolio work. If you'd like to chat with us, you can do so using the community forums or by coming along to one of our monthly Mahara Ask Me Anything sessions.